not where it needs to be, but they've got to attack this Colts defense. Play fake to get things started. Taylor on the move and throws it to the sideline. It is intended for Damian Davis. Number 23, Kenny Moore says he intercepted the ball and wants everybody to take a look at it. But was the left foot down? Left foot down, oh, right down. Oh man, I think he got it. Quick handoff to Naheem Hines, and Hines turning the corner on the far side. He has a first down and then some as he moves to the inside the 20 to about the 17. On second and two, this is Taylor, right side, inside the five, and down to about the two and a half yard line. Let me think about it for about 30 seconds. Direct snap to Taylor, to the end zone for the touchdown. Number two and three receiver to compliment Cooks. A third and fourth pass over the middle is complete, and with running room out to the 45 is Burkhead for a first down. Kowski and Leonard Fournette had some pretty big days for that Tampa Bay offense, and a lot of those were designed at number 58. Little flip out to the near side, and out to midfield is the tight end, Farrell Brown, loose football. And the Colts have it. It was the big play down the field that really broke the game open. On second and three, this is Taylor, and Taylor with first down yardage and then some as he ducks inside the 35. Wentz throwing. That is complete. Inside the 25 into the 20-yard line is Pittman for a first down. The ball away. This is a big one right here. Wentz throwing inside the 10-yard line. Incomplete. Taylor, lots of time to throw, far side of the field, and it is incomplete, intended for Chris Conley. John Riggins, and all of them very special backs. Wentz pulls the ball back and then completes the pass, and out across. On first down, play fake, Wentz with lots of time, throwing far side of the field, and the catch is made. Job he does pinning the Texans. Comes down at the five. And the special teams take care of the ball at the one. Ashton Doolin. In this game, he's had opportunities to complete some passes, but he hasn't been his best. Taylor gonna run it out of the end zone, diving across the five and out to about the six and a half yard line or so. Wentz running out of time. Penalty marker flies in the backfield, and that pass is incomplete. Intended for Zach Pascal. Offense in their last two games, only 107 and 106 yards in their last two games. Taylor throwing that one is complete, and this is Farrell Brown. And Brown looking for first down yardage. Really a, an important part of their secondary that's missing Justin Blackman for the rest of the season. Here's a big third and five, and Taylor going to run for it. And sliding up to about the 34-yard line. He'll buck it down at the 33, but it's a first down. Critical in the costly mistake that really puts them in bad situations. Taylor spinning away from trouble and finding more trouble and going down courtesy of al Qadim Muhammad. And that they'll be ready and refreshed to really go on a strong run here in December. This is Jonathan Taylor. Taylor to the 40-yard line. Colts are only two of five on third down, and that's kind of been the difference here for their offense. Wentz on the move, diving to the 30-yard line, and he is looks like he's going to be just shy of a first down. Let's see where they spot the ball. Oh. Wentz keeps it, looking for the first down, and he appears to have it. Third and 11. Pass over the middle, wide open in the middle of the field is Jack Doyle, the tight end. Taylor to the near side. This time, found the cutback inside the five. 
you know, they've really struggled. And again, you've got to credit Houston's defense for being really good on third down today. On first and goal. He'll fake it to Taylor. The pass to the end zone. Caught at the back oh. of the end zone. It is a touchdown. Ashton Doolin with the catch. I would expect the Colts to be a little bit more aggressive here in the second half and trying to attack that secondary to loosen them up. This is Taylor. Taylor has the first down and more across the 40. 20 is about his average as far as touches in the run game, but he also sees about six or seven targets in the passing game as well. Wentz throwing. Got his man. That's Michael Pittman inside the 40 to about the 38-yard line. Wentz throwing. That's complete. Naeem Hines up the sideline and out of bounds. Oh, what an adjustment. This is just an outstanding adjustment for the Texans, who has played pretty well. A, a very different style at nose guard, a little bit more athletic, but has really made some nice plays. This is Jonathan Taylor picking his way through the line inside the five to about the four-yard line. Really has the highest catch rate of all the Colts receivers. On second and goal, this is Taylor to the end zone for the touchdown. Pass to the outside is complete, and this is Freeman, and Freeman knocked out of bounds. They really don't have a true speed outside guy, and I think he's going to be just that. That pass incomplete. On first down from the 19, the pitch for Taylor, turning the corner on the near side of the field, 30, 35, and out of bounds. Wentz, near side of the field, and hits his man close to midfield. That's Michael Pittman going up and making the grab, and that's another Colt first down. Wentz under pressure, and he's going to get wrapped up at the 45-yard line. Camus, Grugier, Hill. Mills is more of your, you know, sit back and shotgun, get the ball out, spread it around with quick, quick, precise passing, and it's probably what the Texans need right now. Completes his first throw to Brandon Cooks, and that'll be enough for a first down. This is Burkhead, and Burkhead with a little running room up the middle. Across the 35 to the 36, we go down to AJ. That has been who they've been this year. Burkhead, and then back to Brandon Cooks, left side, running room to midfield and out of bounds. He'll be marked out at about the 45 yard line, but that is good for another Houston first down. Burkhead. And Burkhead. Just shy of the 40-yard line. Don't love the strategy. I would have liked to see Davis Mills go for a couple. At least throw the ball on that third down. He's going to throw it here. This pass. Near side and overshoots his intended receiver. Now you're facing down Jonathan Taylor again. Play fake to him. Wentz. That's complete. Going on the far side of the field is Michael Pittman, and that's out of bounds. Uh, really efficient, and you see the gains getting bigger and bigger here as the game goes on. Here comes Pittman around the near side, getting some blocking inside the 10 and close to the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal. In this situation with nine minutes left here in the fourth. Jonathan Taylor with his third touchdown lurking on the day, but the pass to the end zone, that's incomplete. Zach Paschal, the intended receiver and covered by Desmond King. Making more plays here for this Texans defense. Badgley from 23 yards out, and his kick is good. I don't admit it. I'm such a bad thrower that I don't even try to fool people. Here comes the blitz. And a clear misread yep. of what was going on down on the field. Intentional grounding. Offense. Number 10. They really put a lot of time and effort, and it really shows. Look at that little move at the line of scrimmage. Lost the football, covered by the Texans. Christian Kirksey made the recovery. 
Here's Mills on third and ten, stepping up, under pressure, going down. At the 25-yard line. A thing to this offense all game. On fourth and 15, Mills over the middle. That's complete. Can he get enough yard at 35? Out of bounds, close to the 40. That is going to be oh, so close. just yeah. about a yard short of a first down. Uh, let's see him hand the ball off here. <laughs> That works. That's Naheem Hines. And Lonnie Johnson comes in this season over the 200 yard mark. Really, really a workman like game. It, it just it didn't seem like a lot, but they just stuck with it. And just now all of a sudden here in the third and the fourth quarter, what were three and four yard gains were turning into six, seven, eight, and that pick becoming a first rounder. Deion Jackson. Left side, blocker in front of him to the end zone, touchdown. Deion Jackson. You know how they've been able to play, but you know this this game coming up against New England, that will be the test because Patriots just getting better and better. You hear about how hurt you are. No, nobody cares. Bill's going to run this one and slide down close to midfield. The. Uh, all the experts, everybody expected that this is going to be a tough year. They're certainly in the rebuilding process. They're trying to get as many draft picks as they can to, to, to try and to execute and get down the field. It really makes it tough for everybody in the locker room. This is fourth and three. Mills caught from behind, and he goes down at midfield. Kimoko Toure well, once again. Our final score, 31 nothing. Colts up next game two of our doubleheader. The Ravens and the Steelers, and 49ers and Seahawks for Adam, for AJ, Gene Steratore, and the rest of our crew. Greg Gumbel saying so long from Houston. Let's go to JB in New York for the NFL Today update.